Hello again. Welcome back to part two. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery. If you are looking for part one, look for the link underneath the video. It looks like I got stuff on my background, but I don't think I care. By the time this dragon is done, I'll do whatever I need to do to the background to fill it in. I have a pan of colors and a little tiny sliver of acetate, which is probably, that pan is probably what spread the color on the canvas, but right at this point, I really don't care. And my intention is to grab colors that I like and fill in. And I can do my other stuff later, i.e. those little curly cues under the chin and any smoke coming out or any nostrils or any eyes, any of that is bound to happen later. I'm just going to leave room for the eye. So these are pretty much iridescent colors. And if you find part one, it'll show you what they were. <laughs> and hopefully if I start to run low on them, and I kept them all aside, I'll just grab some more. I'm going to give them an ear. Basically, just drawing with my piece of acetate. Oops. <laughs> Come on. Be better if it had been not as bent to heck as it is. I love that copper in there so much more than I expect anticipated. I figure I need a hump for the nose. I'm going to have to give... There's a good chin. I kind of feel like if I drag the color around... I might be able to use a skewer to pull it into position. And I can probably just dip my skewer right in there. I could probably also just add dots of different colors right on my dragon's face instead of trying to do what I was doing. And that is working kind of well. Now there's a big paintball on the end of my skewer, so make no mistake about that. If you try and do this, you don't want to use just your average skewer. I like the dots because I can sort of lay them down very cleanly, well, for the most part. I kind of want to put, <laughs> I want to put that eye in there now. I think I'm just going to put the shape of the eye and call it good. I want some of that green for this one. And I think I want another one of those. Very good. I'm happy about that. And I've, since I've got the green, I'm going to use it. There, dragon eye. And since I've got, I'm going to wipe that off on my hand. Since I've got this pink, or that pink, 
I'm gonna give him an ear. Cool. Very cool. Ha ha ha! I love it. Thank you guys so much for joining me, by the way. Let's see what I can do with all the rest of this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time worrying about miscellaneous drips or anything, if I can possibly help it. The, um, the skewer idea definitely works faster than anything else. And I am going to have to take a look at this at some point to make sure. Okay, that's my wing. I see now. I really want to do something with that wing too. So, since I do, I will. As long as I can put my, lay my hands on it. Alright, so here goes nothing. Don't explode out on me. I knew it. I knew it. Oh well. That's that's the nice thing about pre-primed canvases. I think what I need is to have just a couple few colors to make the wing really outstanding from the rest of the scales. So I'm just taking the majority of the color that's moving in. I'm not sure that the scales, well, the scales I haven't really made up my mind about yet. The ones going down his back could be gold. I'm just sort of evening that out. I'm not really expecting to get this done now. It's bound to be a part three. I don't want the wide part of that. That's spit. <laughs> Trying to clean off the extra stuff I left on there, but I don't think it's going to be a problem because I'm going to have to do a spongy background or something to decorate the background. I don't want to put that bottle in my way though. I do want to try the gold. I definitely do want to try that. I want to try it and especially if it will open. And it's not a bad thing that it won't open a lot right now. I'm going to try my same skewer. No, I'm not. I'm going to grab a, a fresh skewer with a point on it. I'm going to use the dull end for near the body before I use the pointy end to go up. And I'm going to be waiting with bated breath to get that chalk off of there. And if I don't like them, I'll make them another color by putting paint right over them. Because that's the beauty of having an iridescent dragon, or a dragon with iridescent colors. Yep, I'm liking that. So I guess I should just keep going because that way I can at least finish the first half. Maybe if he's got gold. Yeah, I think so. Gold scales, he can have gold toenails. Why not? He's a gem-loving dragon. Maybe it's a she. kind of want to see what the idea I was using of putting some gold in between. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. That's going to happen. Just add some funky texture. Really funky. Really cool.
I know this is taking a while, but it's par for the course. It's not a simple procedure. I'm loving putting little gold dots in between where the black is because it looks fantastic to me anyway. And when the timer goes off, I'm just going to keep going until it's dinner time and it's getting close. I'm kind of glad I didn't bother going too much further with the scales down his back. It's good to work in only one section at a time. That way I'm less likely to stick one of my body parts into the actual artwork. The dots don't have to be precise or in any particular order. They're basically just meant to catch the light and add some charm. I'm really thinking that I want some of this some of this Venetian blue in here. Maybe it's a because I can moment. I kind of figure it doesn't matter what I do as long as it's a start and I'm going to be adding to it. And I love covering up the chalk. Because I don't think a little chalk is going to hurt anything. I just need to remember to keep the paint kind of thick so it will dry nice and flat. The flow troll I put in my paint mixtures levels the paint out. Whoop, almost. I came so close. That was that uh, not available art minds mystique. So that's a start. And I can fill in, I can put little gold right down the, his chest and on his face. And right now, Give him a light in his eye. Ha ha ha! I like it. I don't know why I ever had a crisis of faith in myself. I just didn't want to embarrass myself, I guess. That's pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys before I go back to work on something else. I've got paint to use. I really just want to keep dipping. I think what I need to do is make myself a little dish for the gold instead of doing what I'm doing, which is just constantly dipping in. Probably could have used a cleaner one. But this is something I'm confident I can do even upside down and it won't hurt anything. So I think instead of working on that, I'm going to try give myself some gold right down here in a somewhat even way and see what I can do as far as that goes. Assuming I don't put any more bottles in my way. Keep my remember to keep my arm out of the artwork. Oh, no blue. I don't think it would make any difference if you put... Yep, good. <laughs> good thing to say right before I do it. Yeah, this is definitely turning into my own ter interpretation of a dragon. I like it a lot. I'm going to give myself all kinds of permission. I don't actually have to drag that down there because I think I'm going to like the negative space.
There is no perfection. That's I used to hang wallpaper for a living for a while when we would get our grass cloth. It would come with instructions that say, don't mind the imperfections, they're charming. They're meant to, meant to be a part of the organic process there. So, at the end of part two, we'll probably at least have a half a dragon-ish. I hate turning it around on you so you can't see the whole thing. I do like the black outline left behind if I don't fill something in. That makes me happy. Like a low light as opposed to a highlight. That's what the white was for, the white pearl from Anita's. It was for highlights. All right, so far so good. It does just make me want to do what I said I was going to do because it makes me happy. Let's put some more in there. I hope I don't run out of gold. I don't think so. I think I've got just about enough. All right, I've got another two minutes. And then I might remind you that you might want to listen to all the stuff I told you in part one because I'm focused on what I'm doing now, which is just adding gold dots where I see a space available. Give them an eyelid too, why not? Take some of that purple out of his eye. I am so loving those dots. Huh. Alrighty. Whoa. <laughs> that was a no-no. My tweezers. Come back here, tweezers. Oh, come on. Can I get it? Good thing I got fingernails. That was a rather large lump of paint. No one will know if you don't tell them. I won't tell them either. So far so good. I do want to just put some more paint into space. Alright, so I've got one minute left to tell you guys whatever I forgot to tell you, which is basically everything, and, and you know it all because you've heard it before. But if you don't, and you need to know it, find part one <laughs> and listen to it. I wasn't sure I could get away with that with my finger, and I'm still not. So I'll just put a little more paint down there, because I've got CAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures. And, and the flow trial really should level that out. 